Uh, getting a good insight into the teams here, but looking behind the scenes, Turkey do look like they're a little bit happier to be here. And here is Jennifer Machino Fernandez just trying to control her nerves. What immense pressure she must be under at the moment, Nikki. She's really, she's going to feel the weight of the world on her shoulders when it comes to her turn in this shoot off. Yeah, you know, there's so much at stake. This, these are the last team Olympic spots up for grabs. You've got to win this match to have a chance. Absolutely edge of the seat stuff here for both of these teams. Put yourself in their positions. You've got two archers who are keeping hold of things and then the youngest member of each team really having the jitters and panicking a tiny little bit. Jennifer Machino Fernandez standing just behind Mackenzie Brown who shoot first, really trying to compose herself. Shoot off for a place in the semi-finals here in Paris. Over to you, Mackenzie Brown. By the standards of this match, a nine is not a bad shot at all. Yasemin Anagosh leading the way for Turkey. Matched a very similar position as well. Of course, that only becomes critical if the scores are tied. And then we're looking to see which arrow is nearest the spider in the center of the target. Which shot here now for Jennifer Lucino Fernandez. Up into the eight, not too bad, not too bad. Sire Karateli, youngest member of the Turkish team, has had her moments in this match. She's also put it into the eight, and again, very similar position. So now it's, just, it's down to one arrow. Casey Calfold. She's dropped it into the eight. 25 for the USA. And now Golnas Koskin with a huge opportunity. Nine or more. Look at the nerves. Oh, she's put that into the eight. So we're on 25 apiece. And a soft shot called by former world number one, Nikki Hunt there. Uh, look, we, we've got 25 apiece. Nothing between these two teams at the end of a shoot-off. And we're going to have a measure. Uh, I got too confused by uh, counting how, what the score was. Have you got any feel for who's got the nearest arrow to the center? It's so close, I think. America, look, I don't know, there's some clapping there. There's some hands, head in hands as well. It's just so, so tense. But yeah, that last shot from Turkey, you could just see it was a little bit soft, a little bit of tension came off the string. Um, that caused the arrow just to go low, lose a bit of power, and down into the eight. So look, they're measuring it, it's that close. This is whether you're, you've got a chance at an Olympic team spot or not, right here. How fast is their hearts beating? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it's all going to be down to the nines here. The hugs on the left-hand side for Turkey. Standing, trying to hold their chest and just keep their heart rate down for the USA. You can see <laughs> the agents there for the USA and Turkey looking on very intently. There has to be agreement about which nine is closer to the center of the target here. Did you see the judge there had the calipers out? So they're using those calipers. Uh, there's a tiny little spider in the center of the target and then measuring as accurately as possible how far away those nines are from that little spider in the middle. So, I mean, if it's too close to call, if the judge can't tell if it's within a millimeter or less than a millimeter, it's up to the judge. If they can't decide, we would have to reshoot this, which would be, you know, pretty <laughs> oh. unprecedented. But they're really considering it, aren't they? Back and forth, it's just nail fighting. A judge seems to be happy with uh, target number two. Going back to target number one to do the measure there. Uh, this is the <laughs> USA's arrow being measured. 
A nine and two eights for both teams in the shoot-off. And the nines are being measured. Who is closest to the center? Whose Olympic dream is still alive? It's the USA after a <laughs> tenth measure there from the judge here in Paris. The USA have made it through a shoot-off on a measured nine. Unbelievable scenes here in Paris. And the USA have snuck through to the semi-finals. And their Olympic dream is still alive. A crushing blow for Turkey, but look at the respect between the two teams. Gallant in defeat. Yasemin Alagos, Gulnaz Koskun, Asaya Karatelia. Congratulating the USA, but it will be Jennifer Machino Fernandez who will need to settle her nerves down. Mackenzie Brown and Casey Calfold who go through to the semi finals here at the final Olympic qualifier for Tokyo 2020. Wow, what a match, Nikki. What an incredible match. And it was all down to actually two athletes getting the jitters. Yeah, I mean, you can't blame them. <laughs> this is the last quota tournament for the team to get their spots to the Olympic Games. The pressure is absolutely immense. And quite literally, it doesn't get any closer than that. You know, I think we were talking around a millimeter or two difference in those two final arrows that were measured. So just absolutely incredible. What a nail biter. Phenomenal stuff. USA through to the semi-finals. Job number one done. Only just, but it's done. And it was actually down to Mackenzie Brown's very first arrow of that shoot off that got them through. Lead to victory, Fivix.